change before our eyes. We've, we've literally been standing here watching the gas prices change before our eyes. We've seen the price of a gallon of regular unleaded jump 30 cents a gallon since we first talked to you guys at 430 today. The price of diesel holding steady for now. Diesel fuel drives this country's economy. Just about everything we consumed is delivered by diesel, whether it's through truck or train. Rising diesel prices are now costing consumers everywhere. What do you think is actually behind all this? I think it's hogwash. Brian Snyder runs an asphalt company in Wenatchee. Since trucking companies often apply a fuel surcharge to customers when prices rise, he says a delivery of sealer is now $3,000 more than last year. That's forced him to raise his rates for customers by 20%. Snyder believes oil companies are gouging the transportation industry to make up for losses during COVID. Where did they get? That's forced him to raise his rates for customers by 20%. Snyder believes oil companies Shalom, Shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. That's giving our praise to the Most High. Name is Only Begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon, Camp Down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles and the head bishops, a great millstone, teach them well. Peace and salutations to the whole folks scattered abroad. And then this video, you see how they're talking about how diesel is going up, gas prices is going up. You know, people are freaking out, you know, because it's not going down. They're talking about by the end of this summer, by this summer, it, should, you, it might have $10 gas prices, man. The article's coming out about how they have, they're have having to re-program um, their machines for $10 a gallon gas, man. Because what? It's only about to get worse. Okay, it's only about to get much, much worse. And this is what the prophets have been warning you about all this time. Okay. You, 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 they're talking about a, a diesel shortage, which all these trucks run run on diesel. Once there's no, you know, more diesel, these trucks can't run. That's all your food, your, you know, your water, your your medicine, okay, and also your jobs, okay. You, your your job can't get shipments to keep you coming into work if there is no trucks, okay. So this place is about to be um, you know, brought low, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna read some of some of this. This is Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 17. Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days? You know, Ezra is speaking like, yo, whoa, 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 who, 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 who what, 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 what I'm gonna do in those days? Who gonna, who gonna help me out? Cause it's gonna get bad, man. It's already getting bad in America. They, they, this is about to get nasty. It says, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famines and great death, the beginning of great War of wars and the power shall stand in fear and the beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils come because esau he's you know like, like the guy said what do you what do you think is behind this and he said hogwash me bullshit man you know th this is these global elites you know orchestrating this but ultimately they're gonna lose control and they're gonna you know it's gonna be all all out you know war zone i i, I hear man you know damn mad max you know seeing they over here on, on stress of america man it says, because especially when everything runs out, mm. it says, verse 19, behold, famines, which is a lack of food and bread, you know, and plagues, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, you know, as, you know, like, 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 like you got to get, you know, some, some lashes, you know, and every lash hurts. That's how the Lord is, is bringing these plagues, man. You know, he's bringing these plagues, you know, like lash, like you get your ass whooped, man. That's why, that's why we say, damn, we're catching hell. We're catching hell. Okay. Famine, plague. Okay. Tribulation and anguish. It says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon the earth. And, you know, when, when this guy Trump was in office, you know, it was a dollar fifty gas. Everybody thought it was, it, the world's going to last forever, man. You know, they thought America was going to last. They thought the economy was doing great. You know, and, and, and now look, you know, a year later, this guy Biden, you know, got you going up to six, seven dollars, almost ten. And he's predicting ten dollars by the summer. They don't want you going nowhere this summer, man. You know, there ain't going to be no hot girl summers. OK, you're going to be stuck. OK, scripture says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. <laughs> wow, you ain't going to have no gas. OK, you going to have to, you know, you ain't going to be able to go to work. And, buy, and pretty soon you're going to be working just to, just to keep working to put gas in your tank. You know, all your bills going to be up. You know, your rent due. Lord said we shall be like, we should be as pilgrims upon the earth. And hey, you better wake up. It says they shall keep, think themselves to be in good case. And even, even then shall 
um, so I can't even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sore, famine, and great confusion. And this place is, is, is in great confusion, man. Okay. Great confusion. All right. Um, let's lock here. Bear me one second. You see, because a, 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 the, 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 the Lord told us. You know, in Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So you're not going to be able to go into the cities because we have road block offs. You know, you have to have, have that Karagba to even buy gas in the first place. But even then, there ain't going to be no gas, man. They're going to get rid of these cars and you're going to have to, you know, completely ass assimilate to this new world order. That's what they want. You know, they're crashing. They're crashing this plane on purpose. OK, they, 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 they're going to get a, a huge um, insurance you know, claim, you know, off of it, off of it. And the plane is, is symbolic for America. Okay. Just like how they did with um, 911. Okay. It's all, all this is orchestrated, man. All right. Gouging the transportation industry to make up for losses during COVID. Where did they gouge us? At the trucker level that has to use the fuel. The national average for a gallon of diesel is now $5.55, a 36 cent increase from last month. Washington's average is even worse at 572 per gallon, up 23 cents since a month ago. And this is inflation, man. You know, this gas, he said that the, the, the man said as he's standing there, he's seeing the gas go up. Okay, that's inflation, you know, and then it's going to turn into hyperinflation where it's going to be, you know, from a one night you, you can go to bed and the gas going to be five, you know, from 555 for regular next morning you wake up and it's gonna be 1099 you know 999 you know for regular man you know diesel is also critical for use in agriculture higher diesel prices could force farmers to scale back plantings or fertilizing limiting already tight food supplies and mm. driving up food prices beyond the added cost for transportation the western states petroleum association says it comes down to a matter of supply and demand some diesel supplies that would have been here domestically are being exported uh, because of the war. Additionally, the demand for diesel, um, we look at supply chain uh, demands that we have there, the demand for diesel, diesel to get supplies around the country is extremely high coming out of COVID. But that explanation does little to soothe consumers seeing prices rise everywhere. Everybody out there is paying for it and they need to get mad about it. Mm -hmm. You hear, you hear this Edomite man? So they get mad about it. So they, you know, these people are about to get violent. Okay. It says, um, First Corinthians chapter seven, verse twenty-nine. But I say, brethren, the time is short. The time is short, man. It's not the time you playing games. It's not the time you playing. The time is short, man. We don't realize what time we in. Okay. Pretty soon, the gas prices is going to turn to no gas at all. Okay. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. You men should be taking this truth to the next level, man. Jake got all these excuses. Oh, but my, but my woman, my kids. Hey, those that have wives be as though you had none. Put 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 y'all by some y'all shot first. Okay. So I can pleasing the Lord and not pleasing some damn woman. It says, and they that weep as though they wept not. And they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they possess not. Okay, so you gotta be already having your mind that this place is already through. You know, don't, don't 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 be you know putting too much into this place. You know, it says, and they that use this world as not abusing it, because because we are in this world. You know, even us, we we, we have to deal with these high gas prices too. We're not going to abuse it and say, you know, what, let me go buy, you know. A, a, uh, I gotta fill the, 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 the damn tub up with gas because you know it's gonna be a shortage. Nah, man, we're gonna trust in the Lord, man. You know, to hell with if the gas run out, then hey, we're we'll we'll gonna be we're gonna, we'll gonna be walking, man. You know, we'll need gas. You know, look, I, you know, and I and I pray that in a day we coming into where we where we gotta move because we're gonna have to move. And, and I pray the Lord, you know, give, give me a horse or something, man. You know, that, that I become companions with a wild horse, you know, and able to move like that, you know. Hey, so pretty much this world as we know it is is is, is, is changing, man. You know, and pretty soon gonna be gonna be no more, you know, to just be able to jump in the car and you know go for a ride. Ain't gonna be no more of that, man. It says, and they that use this world as not abusing it, 
for the fashion of this world shall pass away. For the fashion of this world passeth away. So like it. So hey, the, hey, the, the, the ways of this world, you know, this world as we know it, it, is, it, it, it it's passing away, man. You know? It, it, it's going to shut before our eyes. Um, and this man said and that his the other people should, should should be angry and see to go back to what he said. Everyone. Everybody out there is paying for it and they need to get mad about it. They're paying for it, they need to get mad about it. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. So the places that got gas, pursuing soon there ain't gonna be no gas. Okay? Them put on gas and them high prices, ain't gonna be no prices. It says the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, and the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. You know, you, and, and, that, and that's gonna be those um you know those um you know um sirens of you know pain and agony man of you know destruction coming okay he says um so like you verse 24 and at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies and they shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein and the springs and the fountain shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run so the water gonna get shut off you know not not just the gas getting shut not just the gas going up to, 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 hey you know you got water you got water going up you got electricity going up especially about going to the winter some people need gas to, 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 heat, to heat their homes man people gonna be freezing to death you know old people and children babies and stuff man it's gonna get nasty out here man this is why the Lord is to be feared, okay? And the prophets warned you about this. It says, and at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. They somebody going, everybody should be mad. You know, what are you people going to go get mad about? Who, who, who are you going to go, you know, fight against, man? You don't, you don't even know who, you know, all you know is, you know, who, who, who won the playoffs, you know? All, all, all you know is that, you know, Sunday service was good, you know? That's all you know. You you don't even know who your true your true enemy is. So what they gonna do? They're they gonna fight against each other, man. They ain't gonna go against the the, the, the infrastructure that that, that that put put them in the situation. They're gonna go against their common neighbor that's in the same situation. And, and they're gonna take the last bit of drops and get gas that that person got just to get nowhere. You know, and they may have to kill them to do it, man. We're coming to some diabolical times. People gonna be trying to kill you for your gas. You know, especially these people that you know they you know how you see the movies. Oh, I gotta I gotta get here to save, you know my 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 mom or my 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 child or my you know my 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 grandma needs me to check on her, you know, to do whatever they gotta do, you know, to, to you know in, in in a dire you know situation. It says and at that time shall friends fight one against another, and they shall shall stand in fear, so I shall fight against another like enemies, and they shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. And the springs of the earth shall stand still, and they shall not, in three hours they shall not run. Whosoever remaineth from all the, these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. So we, so we have to remain after all this, man. Because he that, scripture says, he that endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Okay, we have to make it through this, man. We're going to have to see it, brothers. You know, we, we, we may have to pay that $10 gas, you know, to, 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 to get up the road or something, man. Whatever, man. You know, but you know, just get through it, endure it, man. Okay, this ain't for us. This this is for the wicked. You know, but um, that's pretty much it on that, man. I just want to touch on that ten dollar gas thing. This week, a leading energy economist made an ominous prediction to CNN. He warned that diesel prices could hit ten dollars a gallon by the end of the summer if the global markets don't loosen up. Reporting live in the. Ten dollars a gallon by the end of the summer. That means that just, you know these trucks ain't gonna be coming, man. Food shortage is about to you know be on, on, on another level very soon, on another level. And this is why Yahweh Shemuel has to be feared. You should be seeking him if you're not seeking him already, because hey, you gonna wish you had, man. Whatever I said, I'm saying Shalom, Kwamishrala, Abad, Babal, Shalom.